What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and iOS 9.3.4 was just released by Apple. This is the first update to come after the release of the jailbreak, so do you guys know what that means? It means the jailbreak is officially dead. So there is one change in this new update that I wanted to talk to you guys about. What does this mean for your current jailbreak for the future? So just a little bit of everything that you need to know after this update is out. First off, Apple did release the security notes of the update. And if we take a look, they actually do credit the Pangu team. So they went ahead and found the memory corruption issue that was used for the jailbreak and Apple went and quickly patched this in iOS 9.3.4. So what does this mean for a jailbreak? I'm actually a little curious. I'm gonna try and uh, run the app on my device to try and jailbreak it, see what happens. All right, so with my device plugged in running iOS 9.3.4, I just wanna see what would happen if I tried to sideload the PP jailbreak app using Cydia Impactor. All right, so it finished. Oh, wow, it actually installed it, but I highly, highly doubt this does anything. So let's go ahead and press start, jailbreak failed. So that's what you guys are gonna get if you're on iOS 9.3.4 and you try and jailbreak your device. Apple fixed the issue where you would lock it and use it as the exploit. So man, that is really, really sad to see this go. Pengu's hard work is now gone and iOS 9.3.4 is here to stay. So Tim Cook just can't let us have any fun, you know? Gotta patch all of these exploits, make it as secure as possible. Now the good news is you guys can still downgrade. iOS 9.3.2 and 9.3.3 .3 are still being signed right now. So if you guys do update to this, see it's not what you want and you want to jailbreak, you guys can easily downgrade back to 9.3.3 and run this jailbreak. Now, if anyone is on an older iOS update like 9.1, 9.0.2, you're jailbroken and you're considering going up to 9.3.3, I personally would do it just because it's a more stable release. But then again, it's not a permanent jailbreak. It may take up to one year, sure, but in the end, it's not completely permanent. So I don't know, it's a really tough choice. I understand you guys uh, hesitating on that older firmware. All right, so just like that, iOS 9.3.4 brings the death of jailbreak to iOS 9. We waited so long, so, so long, and here we are waiting once again. Now, this is gonna be another game, another uh, waiting period here until possibly an iOS 10 jailbreak. I feel like the team wouldn't let iOS 10 go unjailbroken just because they would want to see something so tough, so encrypted, see the light of jailbreak. But anyways, guys, just thought you guys should know that this update is out. Don't update to it. If you guys are jailbroken, you shouldn't even have to worry. You won't be able to update from over the air, but in iTunes, that's where you guys need to be careful. Don't accidentally update or anything like that. But if you do, you can still downgrade back for up to like two weeks, I believe. So yeah, guys, sad to see that go, really. And I'm going to keep you guys updated on any jailbreak news from here on out. Of course, I will still be posting a bunch of jailbreak videos, tweaks, all that good stuff. Stay tuned for that. Anyways, beware of iOS 9.3.4. Have a great day, guys. Peace. Ha, 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 ha.